Eric came home the other day with a case of peaches, and I figured that we could make some homemade peach jam in the bread machine. He was nice enough to peel these peaches, so we just need to chop them up and get them in the bread machine, and we will have some absolutely fabulous jam. So join me as we make bread machine peach jam. So what we have here is some yellow peaches. These are hand-picked from the USA. Crimson exterior with a golden yellow flesh. From California, baby. From California. So we're going to, we're using these yellow ones. It seems like the white ones were smaller, they're right? Smaller. These peaches are about a half a pound. Um, and they're really juicy, huh, Eric? Oh, yeah. Now, you were nibbling on them. You know what they taste yeah. like. <laughs> so we need four cups of small um, chopped peaches. So, wow, Eric peeled these. If you, um, if your peaches are really ripe, they're really easy to peel. If they're not ripe, you may have to... Um, Let them sit in the fridge or out for a week. Or then. boil them for a second. I'll put a link up here for um, how to, an easy way to peel peaches. But if they're really um, ripe, you don't really need to go through all that. So we're going to just... You just use a paring knife. And come yeah. Cut our peaches into pieces like that. These will cook down, but um, you just make them the size you want them. If they're really ripe like these are, they're gonna cook like way down. Um, we have quite a bit here. The, the remaining of these I'm gonna just uh, throw in a bag and freeze them, and then I'll probably use them for a peach cobbler later in the week. So keep your fingers crossed, you might see a video soon. <laughs> if, I, if I perfect my peach cobbler recipe. Ooh, these look amazing. That's our cheese. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So peachy. So I'm gonna get these chopped and we'll be right back. Okay, so we have our peaches here. I think that runs about four to five half pound peaches. So we have four cups of our peaches. We're gonna put this into the pan of our bread machine. I don't know why, but this bread machine is the one that I always make jam in. Um, I have no idea why it is. I don't make jam in my regular bread machine. I always make it in this one. I don't know why. I guess I get good results with jam in this, so I just use it. So we're going to put a cup of sugar. Now, a lot of jam recipes cause, call for a lot more sugar. I like more uh, fruit taste to it than all the sweetness. So I put a cup. Um, you can increase that if you want to. I really don't think it's necessary. This is refrigerator jam. We're not going to be um, canning, canning it. Uh, we're just making a small batch. It's going to make just close to two little pints. And, um, you know, it's gone by the end of the week. So. And what doesn't make it onto a peanut butter sandwich? Uh, it's great to straight out of there and just chug, <laughs> chug, chug. Chug it or put it on ice cream or whatever you want to do. So I'm going to use the Sure Gel Low Sugar Pectin. Pectin is what gels it up. And... My recipes in these bread machines only use a half a box. So there's 49 grams of pectin in here. So I, you can just eyeball it. I weigh it out. So I get half of that. I put 25 grams. I made a recipe of some strawberry jam with the first half of this box. That's what this is. And this is the second half. So we're going to go ahead and use the rest of this open box up what the heck right mm -hmm. and I'm also going to put just a pinch of salt you don't have to do this 
For some reason I do that for good measure. So let me get the machine over here. So here's our bread machine and we're gonna go ahead and open this up. We're gonna put our pan in here. Close our machine down. So you're gonna go menu. Um, this one we need number 13. which is for jam. We're gonna go ahead and hit start. It's gonna heat up, it's gonna run through the jam cycle. And as soon as this is done, uh, we can jar it up and then let it cool. So we'll be back. Okay, our jam is done. It smells so good. And ooh, look at that. So you're basically gonna get like this kind of consistency and it's gonna gel up overnight in the refrigerator because of that pectin. So let me go ahead and get this out. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, safety food. That's hot. I'm probably gonna keep this open just because it's a little steamy in there so I can wipe it out. Um, here's our jam. We'll put that down there. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't change in one minute. So we have a couple of jars here, and let's see, let's fill this jar up. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. That's nice and hot. Huh? And jar number two. So I'm not going to be canning these, so this filled these two jars all the way up to the top. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these cool down so we can put them in the refrigerator. I don't want to put them in the refrigerator hot like that because I don't want to heat up the inside of my refrigerator. So when that happens, we're going to put these lids on. This is just a regular ball canning lid. Um, and when we put them in the refrigerator, and they cool down, they will gel up overnight, and tomorrow we will have some jam. So uh, we'll be back so we can taste it. So it's been overnight, and our peach jam is jellied, right? Um, they look fantastic. Look at our jam here. This is straight out of our bread machine, guys. Um, I think we need to take a taste of it. <laughs> So let's open this up and see how it looks. That's how our jam looks. You got a spoon? Yeah, I got a spoon. I'm gonna make some toast really quick. Um, wow, yeah. So that's how our jam looks. It looks fantastic, right? Should I take a little taste? Why not? Oh my God. Mm. It is so good. It tastes like peaches in summertime. Mm. Uh, it is peaches in summertime. That's nice. It's sweet. You want to try it, Ebu? Uh, I so. <laughs> Ebu hasn't had a haircut since March. <laughs> it is soft. It is flavorful. It's not overly sweet. Peachy. Um, it's really good, yeah. So I, uh... Okay, so we have a little toast action here. Put a little butter on them. Actually, these are English muffins. My favorite English muffins. It's all about the nooks and crannies. It's all about the nooks and crannies. It's all about the nooks and crannies. <laughs> And we have our little peach jam here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Peach jam is in the house. Homemade peach jam. Okay. So let's give us a little crumbly uh, toast action. You want some toast, Bill? Maybe. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I spit out all the pepper. It is so good. It tastes like... It just tastes like fresh fruit. Oh, we got ants in the house if you weren't aware of that. <laughs> got a big one right here. Here's an ant. Mm. Bottoms up. Really, really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think there's any need to like can this because it's going to be gone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is like... If this even makes on any more toast, I'd be amazed. Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, cooks, here is our homemade peach jam made right in our bread machine. This is fantastic. This is better than any store-bought jam you could ever make. First and foremost, we made it. But secondly, it's made with fresh fruit. There's not a ton of sugar in there, so you, the fruit really comes through. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, it's really good. Mm -hmm. I could drink this. Drink it straight out of the thing, right? Put it on a little ice cream, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you have a bread machine, bring it out and make yourself some homemade jam. I'll put a link down in the description to a few of my favorite bread machines. Um, they're a lot of fun. If you like this kind of video, go ahead and subscribe below and join us on our journey to become better cooks. Also, you can catch me in my Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash Amy Learns to Cook. And on social media, you can catch me at Pinterest and Twitter at Amy Learns to Cook. And on Instagram, I'm at Cooking with Amy. Guys, we made some homemade peach jam.